Okay, so this is problem 15.4 on the chapter on designing and pass filters. And in this section, or in this problem, we are, says, design an op-amp base, an op-amp base low-pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 2,500 hertz and a pass band gain of 5 using a 10 nanofarad capacitor. Draw your circuit, label the um, component values and output voltages, and for part A. And for part B, it says, um, if the value of the feedback resistor in the filter is changed, but the value of the resistor in the forward path is unchanged, what is the characteristic of the filter? Um, okay, so first thing you have to do is know the design of um, which design you want to use. You have to know that this is a low-pass filter because it's a really basic and fundamental filter and it's really easy to reason out because um, a low-pass filter will allow low frequencies through and block high frequencies. So let's see how does, this, um, how does this configuration do that. So if you have um, high frequency or low frequency coming through at low frequencies, a capacitor will behave like an open. And so this will be an open, no longer there. So then you can flow right through from input to output through via the R2 branch. So what happens at high frequencies? Well, at high frequencies, a, um, a capacitor behaves like a short circuit. So here you are, and basically you're shorting around, you bypass the feedback resistor, and you end up right here. And and right here means you're grounded. Why? Well, because at this point, remember for an ideal op-amp, V in and V out are going to be the same, and V out is grounded, so therefore V in is grounded, and therefore at short frequencies, you are grounding V out. And you're, so you're blocking, you're blocking um, high frequencies and allowing low frequencies, so when you look at this, you should be able to see that that's how that works. In your mind, you should be able to see Oh, high frequencies, I'm going to be right here, and then for ideal op-amp, that's zero, I'm grounded. Low frequencies, well, that's an open, and I have a free, I can go on my freeway and go to my V out. So that is the reasoning why behind a capacitor in parallel with the feedback resistor is a low-pass filter. Now, we need some formulas to solve this. First, they gave us some numbers. They said the components, our employer has asked us to use a cutoff, um, a cutoff frequency. So cutoff frequency is going to be, F sub C is 2,500 hertz. That's what we are to design. And we are to, we want a gain. So gain is going to be, um, R2 over R1, negative, right? So negative R2 over R1, that is going to be 5. Um, and we need to use a capacitor of 10 nanofarads. Now, so we have all that information. We just we know that this is going to be 10 nanos. 10, but what's R1 and R2? Well, we have to use um, some formulas. So we know that this is going to be our gain. So we have one equation. Um, we also have the frequency, and we know omega, omega frequency, um, omega is 2 pi times 2,500 hertz. So we have that information. And what else other information do we have that could be useful? Actually, Omega C. This is from um, it's going to be one over R two capacitor, right? And we said that that was equal to two pi twenty five hundred times two pi. So now, simple cross multiply and you can 
put the R2 up here and put this down in the denominator, this will give you the value of R2, which is 1 over 2,500 times 2 pi times 10 e minus 9. When you put that into your calculator, you should arrive at R2, an R2 value of 63.66. So now I know that this is 63.66. Oopsies. 66 ohms. And that's that. That's my one R2. And now I have. So now I need to find R1, and we know that the gain is 5, so R1, R2 over R1, right? But we just found R2. We said that was 6366, so therefore R2 will be 6366 divided by 5. Excuse me, this should be R1. This is R1 divided by 5. And when you put that into your calculator, you should arrive at a value for R1 of 1273. So now we have all the components. Um, that's pretty cool. Don't you think that's pretty cool? That we can use that and then decide the, on the values, know, understand how low-pass filters work, and to pick values to achieve whatever we want. As far as cutoff frequency, where we want to cut it off and block certain frequency levels. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so for part two, they asked, if the value of the feedback resistor, which is R2, if the value of the feedback resistor in the filter is changed, but the value of this resistor, right, that one, is unchanged, what characteristics of the filter will we change? Well, R2 is in two places. It's in the gain, remember? The gain is equal to R2, negative R2 over R1, because this is an inverting amplifier. Um, and it's also in the cutoff frequency, right? Because the cutoff frequency is um, 2 pi Fc, which is um, 1 over R2C. That's where you see it. It's, if these two are the same, they're equal to each other, but this is where you see the R2 is it determines the value of the cutoff frequency. So when you change the feedback resistor, you will change the um, amount of the gain and um, the cutoff frequency. That's it, you guys. Make sure to share, like, and etc. And help out, please. Jump in and help other people. This should be um, more than just me doing all the problems. Thanks.